please join us in welcoming the class of 2021. <laughs>
And now, please join us in welcoming the distinguished members of our platform party. Good morning. My name is Richard Larson. As president of the Stony Brook University Senate, I am honored to formally open today's ceremony. Here now, in the presence of the candidates for academic recognition, faculty, alumni, honored guests, administration, and friends of the State University of New York at, at Stony Brook, our commencement ceremony is hereby convened. Please rise as you are able for the singing of our national anthem, which will be led by Michaela Larson from the Stony Brook University Department of Music.
It is a pleasure to welcome the university's special guests who have joined us today, New York State Assemblyman Stephen Engelbright. New York, <laughs> New York State Senator Mario Matera. <laughs> Suffolk County Legislator Jason Richberg. <laughs> Brookhaven Town, uh, Town Council Member Jonathan Cornrish. <laughs> Distinguished members of the President's University Council, President of Stony Brook University's Alumni Association, Ahmed Balazi. <laughs> President of the Graduate Student Association, Claren Joel Martis. <laughs> President of the Undergraduate Student Government, Manjot Singh. USG Vice President for Student Life, Christopher Jean. It is now my distinct pleasure to present to you the President of Stony Brook University, Dr. Maury McInnes. As we welcome Dr. McInnes to the podium, please be seated. Well, good morning, and I would like to add my greetings to all present today. Members of the faculty and staff, parents and friends of the graduates, our special guests, and above all, the graduating class of 2021. As president, it's my pleasure to introduce someone whose extraordinary service to the state of New York speaks for itself. Although he is a Brooklyn resident, you would never know it due to his tireless advocacy for Long Island. A close friend of the Stony Brook family, our Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer. Hello, Stony Brook University. This is Senator Chuck Schumer. And it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all you, the graduates of Stony Brook. Congratulations. Now everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been, but certainly not in the way you expected. The challenges of this moment are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. So graduates, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain. Many of you may not be sure of what you're gonna do next. But what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things a better way. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic and we'll, we will need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. We must make our society better and we know we will because you are our future leaders and we have faith in you. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, and Godspeed. Graduates, I can feel your excitement. We are celebrating scholars who have persevered through a period of seismic change across the world, who have accepted, grown, and stepped up to the plate and who are now graduating from one of the finest public research universities in the world. And what's more, we're able to celebrate alongside those friends and family who supported them all the way. So let's begin with a round of applause. First, for our guests who have been integral in your journey to get to this point and to our journey as a university. So graduates, give your family and friends a round of applause. And now, friends and family, let's give a cheer for the class of 2021.
Graduates, you have learned and grown more in your time in university than anyone could ever have predicted. The pandemic time has been difficult, it has been unexpected, and it has been and continues to be challenging. And yet you have each taken each challenge with the kind of bravery and creativity that I have come to expect from this class. You have internalized a true wisdom, a dedication to knowledge, and a kind of maturity that often takes scholars years to cultivate. And now, this exceptional group, you, are here, standing at the doorway to the rest of your lives. The rest of your lives. That phrase is a mysterious one. We think about the future conceptually, of course, but what does it really mean to be graduating in 2021? To be entering as scholars into a new era of knowledge, invention, and change? What do we see when we try to visualize the rest of our lives? I know that as a student, I was usually focused on the immediate. The future was measured in next steps rather than broad leaps. Yet as I have gotten to know the class of 2021, over my time at Stony Brook, in classes around campus and those who've come to meet with me in my office, I've noticed one thing in particular about this unique group of graduates. You think about the future very seriously. And as with all of our Sea Wolves, you think about your role in the world, your hopes and dreams in relation to all those around you. And importantly, you think about what kind of lives you want to live. You are an ambitious, creative, and inventive group, seeking knowledge and to change the world. But you are also seeking happiness. You're seeking community, togetherness, and warmth. And over the two years of the pandemic, we have seen the importance of these things revealed more tangibly than ever. And perhaps we've also realized how easily we can take them for granted. I am so excited to see what kinds of lives the students of the class of 2021 cultivate and what kind of world will stem from this level of thoughtfulness, compassion, and humility. In the midst of your time at Stony Brook, this class had to learn different ways to collaborate and connect. You had to reorganize your home lives, prioritize health, maintain friendships, and adapt to new modes of learning. I am incredibly grateful that you could spend your last semesters on campus, slowly reclaiming and reinventing the dynamic academic community for which this university is known. And I am so incredibly proud of the ways that you time and again succeeded in fostering connection, community, and friendship, despite the unparalleled challenges of our time. Now, as you celebrate your hard work and officially becoming Stony Brook alumni, you'll be joining a community of over 200,000 alumni across the globe, full of friends and colleagues who can support and collaborate with you on the many exciting things that you can and will do. I hope you stay connected to Stony Brook and consider this campus community a second home, cheering you on and celebrating all that you achieve. As we at Stony Brook watch, you make your way into the world. It will be with real admiration for the way you have let your experiences and perspectives shape you. You have come to define a new era of scholarship and innovation, one that proceeds with care, with community, and with respect. I cannot think of a better and more needed addition to this world. Congratulations, class of 2021. And now we will begin the hooding of today's doctoral and PhD candidates. Please welcome Dr. Harold Paz, Executive Vice President for Health Sciences, 
to hood today's candidate from the Renaissance School of Medicine. Thank you. Completion of the MD degree is the result of years of preparation and dedication to the healing art of medicine. As part of the process of transitioning to the role of physician, we take an oath based on common principles of our profession. Today, I ask our new physician, Patrick Yang, and Dr. William Wertheim, Interim Dean of the Renaissance School of Medicine, to come forward for the recital of the Hippocratic Oath. I solemnly vow to that which I value and hold most dear. I solemnly vow to that which I value and hold most dear. That I will honor the profession of medicine, be just and generous, and help sustain colleagues in their service to humanity. That I will honor the profession of medicine, be just and generous, and help sustain colleagues in their service to humanity. That just as I have learned from those who preceded me, so will I instruct those who follow me in the science and the art of medicine. That just as I have learned from those who preceded me, so will I instruct those who follow me in the science and the art of medicine. That I will recognize the limits of my knowledge and pursue lifelong learning to better care for patients and prevent illness. That I will recognize the limits of my knowledge and pursue lifelong learning to better prepare for patients and prevent illness that I will seek the counsel of others when they are more expert, so as to fulfill my obligation to those who are entrusted to my care. That I will seek the counsel of others when they are more expert, so as to fulfill my obligation to those who are entrusted to my care. That I will not withdraw from my patients in their time of need. That I will not withdraw from my patients in their time of need. That I will lead my life with integrity and honor, using my position wisely. That I will lead my life with integrity and honor, using my position wisely. That whatsoever I shall see or hear of the lives of my patients that is not fitting to be spoken, I will keep in confidence. That whatsoever I shall see or hear of the lives of my patients that is not fitting to be spoken, I will keep in confidence. That I will maintain this sacred trust, holding myself far aloof from wrong, from corrupting, from the tempting of others to vice. That I will maintain this sacred trust, holding myself far aloof from wrong, from corrupting, from the tempting of others to vice. That above all else, I will serve the highest interests of my patients through the practice of my science and my art. That above all else, I will serve the highest interests of my patients through the practice of my science and my art. That I will be an advocate for patients in need and strive for justice in their care. That I will be an advocate for patients in need and strive for justice in their care. I now turn to my calling, promising to preserve its finest traditions with the reward of a long experience in the joy of healing. I now turn to my calling, promising to preserve its finest traditions with the reward of a long experience in the joy of healing. I make this vow freely and upon my honor. I make this vow freely and upon my honor. We now invite Eric Wertheimer, Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Graduate and Professional Education for the hooding of our PhD candidates. I am honored to confer the highest of all academic degrees and to recognize the accomplishments of doctoral candidates who have earned PhDs. Putting a graduate who has complete the completed the requirements for a doctoral degree is a symbolic academic ritual that celebrates many years of study and investigation. It's an important and significant moment for both the graduates and their advisors.
From the Interdepartmental Doctoral Program in Anthropological Sciences, Rachel Perlman, advised by Andreas Koenig. Also from the Interdepartmental Program in Anthropological Sciences, Evelyn Payne, also advised by Andreas Koenig. Advisor, please hood your graduates. Next from the graduate program in biochemistry and structural biology, Pavana Suresh, advised by Erwin London and hooded by Todd Miller. Also from the graduate program in biochemistry and structural biology, Daun No, advised by Daniel Raleigh and hooded by Eric Wertheimer, Dean of the Graduate School. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in chemistry, Alvin James, advised by John Parisi. And from the graduate program in chemistry, Calvin Quilty, advised by Esther Takeuchi, Kenneth Takeuchi, and Amy Marshallock, and hooded by Esther Takeuchi and Amy Marshallock. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in chemistry, Apurva Pandey, advised by Esther Boros and hooded by Nicole Sampson. Also from the program in chemistry, Alexia Smith, advised by Esther Boros and hooded by Nicole Sampson. Advisor, please hood your candidate. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Ivan Orozco, advised by Jose Rodriguez and hooded by Eric Wertheimer. And from the graduate program in computer science, Ke Ma, advised by Dimitris Samaras and hooded by Eric Wertheimer, Dean of the Graduate School. Advisor, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in computer science, Shin Young Cho, advised by Philippa Gill. And from the graduate program in ecology and evolution, Mihir Uramani, advised by Stephen Baines. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in health and rehabilitation sciences, Pawan Sharma, advised by Prithvi Shah and hooded by Wei Hu. And from the graduate program in history, Jalile Suriel, advised by Robert Chase. <laughs> Advisors, please hood your candidates. Next from the graduate program in history, Jennifer Jordan, advised by Sarah Lipton. And from the graduate program in science education, Martin Palermo, advised by Angela Kelly and hooded by Keith Shepard. <laughs> Advisors, please hood your candidates.
and now from the graduate program in microbiology and immunology, Anishka Chikalya, advised by Patrick Hearing, and from the graduate program in microbiology and immunology, Ramon Perez, advised by Eric Mako. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in molecular and cellular biology, Samia Mohammed, advised by Yusuf Hanan. And from the graduate program in molecular and cellular biology, Julie Betke, advised by Adrianas van der Velden. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Next, from the graduate program in molecular and cellular pharmacology, Tanya Regine Victor, advised by Stella Circa and hooded by Holly Colignato. And from the graduate program in music, Ryan Thomas Hayward, advised by Perry Goldstein. <laughs> Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in Neurobiology and Behavior, Ricardo Rodales, advised by Josh Huang and hooded by Eric Wertheimer. And from the graduate program in Oral Biology and Pathology, Haitha Bhatt, advised by Ying Gu. <laughs> Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in physics, Steven Sagona Stoffel, advised by Eden Figueroa. And from the graduate program in physics, Yue Wang, advised by Chong Ki Young. <laughs> Advisors, please hood your candidates. Next, from the graduate program in cognitive science, Nicholas Pepe, advised by Suparna Rajaram and hooded by Eric Wertheimer. And from the graduate program in social welfare, Jeffrey Barnett, advised by Richard Morgan. Advisors, please hood your candidates. This concludes today's doctoral and PhD hooding. Please join me in a round of applause. The master's is an advanced degree signifying the acquisition of specialized theoretical and practical knowledge beyond that required for a baccalaureate degree. Master's graduates must demonstrate advanced analytical skills, complex problem solving, critical evaluation, and independent scholarship appropriate to their chosen fields. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise? Ladder. President McGinnis, it is my honor to acknowledge the accomplishments of these candidates. <laughs> candidates, please be seated. Now please join me in welcoming the Vice President for Student Affairs, Rick Gateau.
Good morning. I am honored to introduce our student speaker, Julia Doré. <laughs> Julia, a Bronx native, is graduating today with honors, earning her degree in sociology. As a non-traditional first-generation student, Julia attended three other colleges before finding her home as a Seawolf here at Stony Brook University. I have had the pleasure of getting to know Julia, and I can tell you that she is passionate about education. She has experienced the world of work, trying out many different fields, and through her own experience here at Stony Brook, has decided to pursue a career in higher education with the goal to be a Dean of Student Affairs in the future. I couldn't be prouder of her. As you will hear in a moment, Julia shines with positive energy, informed perspective, and a resilient spirit. I know these qualities will help Julia achieve her goals and that she will be an outstanding leader in the field of higher education. Please help me congratulate and welcome Julia to the stage. Afternoon, class of 2021. <laughs> Friends, family, my mom, <laughs> and all in between. Let me just start with we are here. We made it. Look to the person on your left. Look to the person on your right. They know what it took for you to sit here and sit in these seats. There's been a theme on campus, and maybe I'm not the only one that's noticed, but our journeys to get here weren't all linear. I know mine wasn't. But we could talk about that at the next graduation, because I know this won't be my last. It really will not be my last. <laughs> this theme I speak of is a circle. Could be a semicircle, could resemble a cul-de-sac. However you see fit, nonetheless, it's round. When I first stepped foot on campus and followed Circle Road for the first time, it dawned on me, I will never get lost at Stony. And it's true. Everywhere I looked, there was a guide. Everywhere I turned, there was help. I've never seen that before at a campus. And I've been to plenty. What I'm saying is, Stony Brook gave us tools and skills that we'll take with us for our first job, our first business, our first of many. And even if you don't use it today or tomorrow, just remember, it all comes full circle. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate today's victories and tomorrow's will make more sense. I have to say, it's great to look at all these faces different shapes, colors, sizes in front of me. We've been through it and possibly are still going through it. We've spent the last two years with our heads in the books, learning about outside, possibly just life inside or maybe even just at home. The pandemic took a lot away from us, but I'm hoping in the midst We've gained something. I know I did. One thing I learned was that nothing, and I mean nothing, was going to stop me from walking across this stage today. And I was able to prove that. 
Stony Brook Strong is a real thing, and we all are. Because if I was not Stony Brook Strong, I wouldn't have been able to get up here and speak to you today. And I wouldn't be so excited about tomorrow. And that's not just because tomorrow's a Saturday. I promise it's not because tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> if I can give some advice. If you don't know what you're going to do tomorrow or next year, and you're worried about what life is going to look like after today, don't. You didn't know what your life was going to look like four or five years ago, but here you are, graduating from Stony Brook. Excuse me. Here you are, here we are, graduating from the Stony Brook University today. It's okay if you don't know now. It's really okay if you don't know now. You'll get there. And when you do, you'll realize what I did my first time on campus. You were never lost. You will never lose. And you will always, you will always succeed. And with that, I say congratulations to the class of 2021. And now we invite Monica Bugayo, Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs and Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, to present today's honors candidates. Good morning. I'm honored to present you our undergraduate honors candidates who are graduating today with distinction. Attainment of a degree with distinction is indicated on each of these students' diploma and on their permanent academic record. Will candidates graduating with the distinctions of cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. President McInnes, it is with great pride that I present to you this year's honors candidates. <laughs> honors candidates, you may be seated. It is now my pleasure to invite forward today's masters and undergraduates candidates. Shannon Abramovitz. Corbin Apple, Sarah Arbuckle, Anthony Atwell, Rewaz Awasti, Amen Azad, Casey Barfield, Bianca Barnes, Melissa Becker, Kyle Benneberger. Sujata Bandari, Stacy Blaziski, Mary Blunt, Melissa Bowman, Allison Bricker, Kristen Bricker, Anthony Bugayo, Cindy Canales, Andrew Contore. Brandon Catalano, Taylor Couchy Garassi, Luke Cesario, Fabricio Chamorro, Chi Tong Chang, Nicole Chen, Hong Chen, Lubada Chowdhury, Tianshu Chu. So Young Chung, Matthew Simino, 
Clara Cliff, Annie Kogar, Charlie Clausen, Christina Costanza, Tiara Coleman, Brittany Coughlin, Ryan Collins, Raymond Crowley Barrera, Tiffany Cruz Lomfranco, Catherine Cunningham, Benoit Daniel, Amber Das, Herman Davis, Christopher Denigris, Eric Desmond, Ryan De Benedetto, Juliet Dore, Jennifer Dubrino, Tara Durkin, Bernice Useman, Elena Evangelo, Mallory Felicia, Sandra Filaretto Fern, Yasika Fernandez, Maria Garcia Luis, Daniel Gomez. Mauricio Gonzalez, Jonathan Gorman, Michael Hershkowitz, Crystal Holmes, Catherine Hudson, Jared Humphreys, Sharon Joyce, Mary Lynn Karpensky. Arafat Khan, Patricia Kopp, Drew Marley, Shannon McCarthy, Seamus McGrave, Daniel Meyer, Selma Muhammad, Michael Morgenthal, Stefan Ordura Quartang, Sarah Ansman, Yoon Long Pan, Alex Park, Sadia Quackenbush, Isis Ramos, Joseph Murphy, Wendy Jillian Ross, Dylan Singh, Stephanie Sklar, Kelly Serdo, Griffin Tok Tokarski, Sam Vanderpel, Sean Webb, Vincent Yeber, Fengnan Yang, Hongpeng Yu, Caitlin Zog. Yiting Zhang, Anthony Zhu, Louis Abragar, Abdul Malik Abubakar, Nazia Ahmed, Akswa Bajwa, Dimitri Bazil. Lauren Brink. Joseph Casey. <laughs> Chad Clark Kuhn Howe. Anthony Del Negro, Jared Delmond Michel, Sujang Deng, Stanley Dong, Delia Elner, Aliyah Evans Cum Laude, Shelby Fernan, 
Zachary Ferrari, Dana Franz, Ethan Chen, Rongwa Lin, Jake DeLeo, Joseph Bruschemi, Alzara Ahmed, Chang Ji Chen, Sarah Goulding, Zachary Gross, Rachel Grube, Chad Gueli, Christina Harney, Zai He, Jing Huang, Sharon, Sharon Huang, Patrick Hurd. Bridget Highland, Asif Iqbal, Talia Johnson, Kareem Jones, Chad Kagan, Katagina Kalinowski, Jake Kaiser, Jade Killian, Aliyah Kingston, Sean Lang. Cecir Kavuri. Sarah Cipriani. Juan C. Lee. Ji Hyun Lim. Mingxing Lin. Michael Lundstrom. Garrett Micah. Cairo Matabula. Danielle Littman, Teresa McCall, Nicole McTeague, Kelly McLaughlin, Ryan McCormick, Taylor Miller, Keita Morek, Zephyrus Morley, Caitlin Nessenson, and Patrick O'Hara. Brianna Page, Michael Phillips, Amer Shums, Anna Sorto, Jonathan McGrath, Tarvanir Randawa, Jacqueline Ryan, Adam Thompson, Stephen Ruisi, and Julia Todorov. Beatrice Vera, Brett Weinger, Jade White, Woo! Katrina Wilcher McLeod, <laughs> Nicola Elaine, Musab Islam, Belinda Liu, Rajan Patel, Don Christopher Pelchuk. Andrea Pelletieri, Christopher Piazza, and Quincy Pindling, Daniel Reddington, Diego Ramache, Haley Rock, Michael Rodriguez, Diane Rosario, Thomas Schmitch, Lisa Schweitzer, Young Suk. Yusuf Salim Segzin and Nicholas Tarrant. Carlos Taveras. Atelia Taylor. Krista Tepedino. Justin Criscari. Paul Varghese. Jennifer Velasquez. Aditya Virinchipuram Ganesan. Diana Vitkovska. Teresa Vitkovska. Haoshi Wang. Tenji Wang and Wei Hao Zhao. Janine Abate. Javier Costa. 
Jack Adams, cum laude, and Paul Adu Jamfi. Yasmina Agaliu, cum laude, Saeed Afan. Farhana Afrin, magna cum laude, and Rimsha Aftab. Tyler Allen, Natalie Almeida. Sean Altimos, Laiba Ahmad, cum laude. Rosa Aiello, Hasibula Amani. Jovan Arcamon, cum laude, and Haley Arnold. Donna Arzanapur, Danya Atike. Q U Al, Tena. Ave Ray. <laughs> Basola Babawale, cum laude. And Brittany Barrientos. Ashley Bartnick. Tamara Beauchamp, cum laude. And Lucas Beer, summa cum laude. Nikhil Butt, magna cum laude, and Julia Biviano. Skylar Bertness, Gabrielle Bonello, summa cum laude. Juliet Brahms, and Jake Bruno, magna cum laude. Alexa Cahill, and Sarah Kimano. Angela Caravana and Tabitha Casas, cum laude. Carly Kassler, magna cum laude, and Grace Catizone. Maria Sestero and Jessica Chan, cum laude. Fabrice Charlemagne, Carlos Cruz, Justin. Chasen, cum laude, and Ricky Chen, magna cum laude. Magnolia Chiri Garcia, cum laude, Sheer Chowdhury, summa cum laude. Andrea Cobos Aguirre, and Alexandria Conaton. Ali Cancelazio. Francesca Conte, summa cum laude. Regan Craig, Rebecca Danaher, cum laude. Barbara Delaney, Raquel Di Giacomo. <laughs> Juliana Ding, summa cum laude. Naomi Dong, cum laude. Caitlin Eastwood and Joshua Edwards, magna cum laude. Sia El Madoni, Amanda Emmert. Jade Erickson, cum laude. Niku Faramandpur, summa cum laude. Dominic Ferrari, Jonathan Ferrofino. Nicole Feza, cum laude. Bai Yunbing. Lindsay Caron, summa cum laude, and Fatma Buzayan. Ibnath Brishti, Mark Darida. Victoria Davis, Gia Deaton. Michelle DeLuca, Wu Tech Bach. Alexis De La Puente, Justin Barrett. Jared Fox, cum laude. Daryl Ferguson. No! Rihanna De Silvio. Haya Farid, cum laude. Amanda De Francisco. Remy Fata, cum laude. J.C. Dietrich. Stephen Fong, summa cum laude. Brett Friedman, Justin Chan. 
Caroline Kluwanowski, cum laude, and Ahmed Abdullah, magna cum laude. Alicia Asif, Jessica Kawachi, cum laude. Philip Kulklashor, Yong Fen Zhang. Si U Chai, summa cum laude. Michael Flores Ribeck. Donica Brown and Danvi Sureshbai Ayar. <laughs> Faria Aisha, cum laude, and Andrew Burford. <laughs> Shuying Guo, Shakira Canadas. <laughs> Pan Ching Wang, cum laude, and Shi Lin Chen, cum laude. Tamzid Chowdhury, Dongwook Lee. Shingda Chen, Wei Tin Cheng. <laughs> Carlel Rice, Fredlin Romain. Jia Chen Chen. Afra Buya. Shetal Kumari. Sheza Mansour. Zaylin Wu. Jin Jin. Alejandro Aguela Guevara. Yan Her. Julie Zhang. Kelly Wang. Jiyoon Hong, summa cum laude. Ian Keller. Zachary Grolick. Manuel Song. Talib Hussein. Kenneth Fung. Magna cum laude. Ethan Foreman. Danielle Hood. Zeshu Huang. Sharika Hossein. Suyan Huan. <laughs> Chengyo Zhang, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jingting Huang. Chengyong Zhang, magna cum laude. <laughs> Li Kui Liju, summa cum laude. Yu Yi Lo. Gori Li. Shrikar Indrankanti, magna cum laude. Mishang Wang. Si Yung Kong. Kyoyang Zhang, summa cum laude. Edward Huang. Marlon Quintineros. Minkung Zhang. Nai Hyun Kim. Joseph Hertalendi. Alicia Galente. Jose Gallego. Emily Gambradella. Maria Gambino. Boye Gao. Shangran Gao. Gabrielle Garcia. Joseph Gaspare. Alec Garassi. William Gerwick. Nicholas Gianuzzi. Sabrina Geller. Casey Gibbons. Nicole Gibson. Angelina Gill, summa cum laude. Jennifer Goldberg, magna cum laude. Jiying Guan. Jining Guo, cum laude. Tamiko Green, Jonathan Grella.
Pratik Gurong, summa cum laude. Nicholas Hopt. Chiao He. Dongzheng He. Michael Heej, magna cum laude. Melissa Hernandez. Marcia Hernandez Arellana. Jessica Hernandez, summa cum laude. Jessica Hewlett, magna cum laude. Grace Howard. Jamie Shea, magna cum laude. Francisco Hu, magna cum laude. Michael Hurley, magna cum laude. Noi, Nor Imran. Kokala Laura. Miles Jamison. Jan Lori Jendaya, Jendairan, summa cum laude. Thomas Jarrett. Layla JD, summa cum laude. David Jima. Nathaniel Joseph. Jacob Joseph. Skylar Kalin. Abarexiti Kawasher. Semranjit Kandola, magna cum laude. Olivia Katan, summa cum laude. Ashley Katz, magna cum laude. Ishita Kaur. Chanpreet Kaur. Ashana Kalichi. Nabil Kimji, magna cum laude. Hyun Kim. Fatima Khan, cum laude. Elijah Duff. Hunyan Kim. Malmi Kirwandalaji. Thomas Crudler, Jian Kim, Patrick Kwozak, Hyun Hoi Kwan, cum laude, Madison Lambert, magna cum laude, Alex Lau, Ariel Laval, Holly Lebro, Jason Letterer, Ozali Legma, Gabrielle Lehman, summa cum laude, Jason Lee, cum laude, Chinyi Yu, Wuhila Julio Lehman, Pui San Luis Lin, John Lin, Matthew Lindsay, Ye Lo Cum Laude. Jerong Lu, Magna Cum Laude. Binri Lu. Rosario Lavini, Cum Laude. Andre Sequera. Jonathan Lomanto. Stefan Lopez. Michelle Lee. Luis Vera Ventura, Sikun Wang, Ruben Atibiga, Julian Malloy, Destiny Saldana, Mina Park, summa cum laude, Nina Patel, Dana Pascuzzi, Brittany Martinez, Gemma Jitansing Myers, Gabriela Nunez, Kenkun Nye, Amy Hinojosa, Summa Cum Laude, Janice Hu, Diana Palencia, Jasmine Akoli, and Stella Pang. 
Christian Villani, Fabrizio Quintanilla, Richard Ma, Ranbo Ma, cum laude. Michael Mahmoud Hussein, Mariam Malek, summa cum laude. Victoria Manuel, summa cum laude. And Terry Margulis, magna cum laude. Emily Markowski, and Nicole Martellucci. Kathleen Martins, and Cameron Ayodeji Martins, magna cum laude. Ted Zin Moon, cum laude. Sasha McKay, summa cum laude. Jackson McKeon, and Layla Megna. Allison Manessis, magna cum laude, and Patrick Milne. Alexandra Mitrofanov, and Michaela Carson Mazel. Leonie Moores, summa cum laude. Gabriel Moncayo, Sean Moore, and Danielle, Danielle Moore. <laughs> Ashley Mooring, and Daniel Moran. <laughs> Brian Morrill, cum laude, and Emily Morse. Gabrielle Mata, cum laude, and Emma Kate Murphy, cum laude. Maria Cristina Musumeci, Fatma Khan. Mohammed Nabil, Zakaria Navki. Adam Na Nakvi, Madison Newton, magna cum laude. Min Hong Nguyen, summa cum laude, and Amanda Neek. Asher Novkov Bloom, magna cum laude, and Juan Perez Nunez. Frank Obermeyer, Gladys May Oblena. Alyssa O'Hara, and Alyssa, we have a special surprise for you today. Continue with announcing the rest of our graduates. Celine Olgan and Nicholas Osborne. James Overbaugh, Sarah Payone, summa cum laude. Brendan Pardo, cum laude. Isha Patil, cum laude. Yawen Shang, magna cum laude. Jillian Patterson. Daniela Beatriz Penate, magna cum laude, and Erica Patterson. Robert Panisi, Dimas Perez. Rohit Persad, magna cum laude, Alexander Piedra. Nicholas Post, summa cum laude, and Taylor Power. Nicholas Pradlick, Devin Prendergast. Randy Pringle, Nicole Prisco Senkyu, Julia Puglisi, Ana Leticia Urbani, Charles Christian, J. Wan Park, Ji Su Jung, Simon Shin, Sheng Shin Jin, Xiaobo Sun. Ikra Kaiser and Alexander Chin. Darian Rosa, Andres Rivas. Michael Manning, Kevin Quintero. Anna Ragon, summa cum laude. Mahmoudur Rahman, cum laude. Lauren Rakimov, Ranamar Ramisha. 
Yvette Ramos, Bromina Rani, Shahab Rashad, Sh Shafi Rashid, Jabari Reduk, Colin Riley. <laughs> Lubaba Reza and Carolyn Rink. Ruggeri Robert and Albin Robert, magna cum laude. Natasha Roberts, Sonia Rodriguez. Kelsey Rodriguez, Sherea Owens. Rachel Samuels and Jaina Jong, cum laude. Nicholas Worm, Domingo Rodriguez. Leslie Roman, Chloe, Chloe Rosette, cum laude. Michelle Ross and Sam Rowland, cum laude. Amy Russo, Robert Safante. Michael Salome, Robert Sanchez. Julia Sanchez, Zachary Sanford. Gul Sangha, magna cum laude, and Trevor Santoli. Sanjoy Sanyal, Christopher R. Sapone, cum laude. Nihal Sarmad, Anthony Scopio, magna cum laude. Annabelle Solano, and Andrew Scott. Stephen Sebexen. Wen Yi Si, summa cum laude. Juan Segura, Rachel Siebert, cum laude. Tazna Shama, Michael Shamul, cum laude. Gabriela Schliefer, Ziyad Shoris, magna cum laude. Shubeksha Shretta, Sahil Shretta, cum laude. Anne Marie Sima, William Simeonek, summa cum laude. Amanda Singh and Michael Skidmore, summa cum laude. Sky Smith, magna cum laude. Eunice Solomon. DeAsia Spence and Walter Darby St. Cillian. Gabriel Stanley and Christopher Stower, cum laude. Caroline Studer, magna cum laude. Madeline Sukushan, so excuse me, Sukushan A. Pablo. Sydney Chagru, Celine Sukwa. Yuanling Sung, Mingji Sun. Daniel Sunko, cum laude, and Nala Sutherland. Mick Ying Si, Deanna Tabizada, summa cum laude. Kevin Tabora, cum laude, Kansa Tahir. Machi Takeda, Brandon Tarazona. Matthew Taunarski, cum laude. Michael Feeling, cum laude. Anna Thomas, cum laude. Tina Thomas. Jonah Tom Wong and Catherine Tor. Stephanie Torres Lordu, Joy Trehan. Jonathan Trulio. Bailey Tulo, cum laude. Veronica Uabuge, Uaboy. And Irma Usman, magna cum laude. Lauren Utting, magna cum laude. Erica Valdez. Janet Vasquez, John Vestal. Jack Valderabano, Gabriel Vieira, summa cum laude. 
Christian Viela, Viela. Matthew Vita. Isabella Viteriti, cum laude. Lan Chi Vo, summa cum laude. Melanie Walker, Declan Wallace. Zhen Zhen Wang, Yi Fan Wang. Lance Wang, Fachi Wang. Chung Yu Wang, cum laude. And Betty Wang, magna cum laude. Nia Watley, magna cum laude. Ross Weber. Stephanie Wei, cum laude. Kikai Wei, summa cum laude. Mei Mei Wang, summa cum laude. Chrissy West, magna cum laude. Heather Winnie. Cameron Wolk. Yija Shah, cum laude, and Wanru Shu. Pei Young Shu, magna cum laude. Eddie Su, magna cum laude. Heron, Heron Su, Lin Yi. Rashitha Yelamintani, cum laude. Yija Hu. Min Yu Yu. Allison Yuditsky. Yujing Wang, cum laude. Kanju Wang, Zhang. Myron Zhang. Julia Zhang. Jezu Zhang. Shiyi Zhang, magna cum laude. Jia Zhang. Jason Zhang. Tony Zhang. Yu Yu Zhang. Bingwan Zhu, cum laude. And this concludes the presentation of today's candidates. And now, <laughs> and now, our Vice Provost will present all of today's candidates to President McInnes. At this time, I would like to invite all candidates for doctoral, professional masters, bachelor degrees and advanced graduate certificates to rise. President McInnes, these students have met the graduation requirements set by the Board of Trustees. As the representative of their faculty, I'm proud to present them to you and respectfully request that you confer upon them the degrees and certificates for which they are qualified. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer degrees upon all of you who have completed the respective requirements with all the rights privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. So as tradition goes, there comes a time during the ceremony when the graduates are asked to turn their tassel from one side of their cap to another to signify the earning of a degree. You are now graduates of Stony Brook University and may turn your tassels from right to left and toss your caps. Congratulations, Stony Brook Class of 2021. Graduates, Please be seated. 
At this time, I would like to extend my personal congratulations to each of our graduates' families and ask that all family members please stand to be recognized for all of your efforts in making this day a reality. Now please welcome Alumni Association President Ahmed Balazi. Thank you, President McGuinness. Seawolves, it is my honor to welcome you to the Starnbrook Alumni Association. Now, you've been Seawolves from day one, and you will remain Seawolves for life. But I just want to process this moment with you a bit. You are now alum. You are alumni. Now, just to give you forewarning, side effects of being alum include doing beautiful and amazing things with your life, so you're forewarned. And just in case you didn't catch it earlier, you are joining a distinguished group of over 200,000 alumni across the globe. You also get lifelong access to privileges, perks, and benefits that come with that membership. And I hope you'll take advantage of those privileges. Whether it's career development, mentorship, social events, there are so many ways to stay connected with your, with your alma mater. And importantly, to support others who will follow in your footsteps and hope to one day be in your accomplished position. To quote one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books, and as the parent of a one and three year old, my jam is books that rhyme. Congratulations, today's your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. As a fellow alum, I cannot wait to hear about all the amazing places you'll go. And now it's my pleasure to conclude with a special video message from some very excited alumni and a performance of Stony Brook's alma mater, Sandy Shore. Congrats. Congratulations, Stony Brook class of 2021. May you have success and joy in all that you do. Your future is bright. Go Seawolf. Congratulations, class of 2021. Stony Brook has empowered you with the tools to pursue your dreams. You worked hard, you were resilient, and you succeeded. Keep pushing forward. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. Wishing you all nothing but the best and an exciting, adventurous journey as you begin a new season in your lives and careers. Two words of advice for you, words that motivated me from the great Duke Ellington who said, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. And the great jazz pianist Bill Evans who said that the two most important things to strive for in life are truth and beauty. Congratulations again and God bless. Cheers, Seawolves. I hope you are as proud of yourselves as I am of you. Please take the time to celebrate your stellar accomplishments. I can't wait to see the amazing things you have in store. Congratulations, Class 2021. You all are going to do amazing on this next step of your journey. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Know that you are able to achieve anything that you are passionate about. Reach for the stars and let's make the world a better place. Congratulations, Stony Brook University graduates. You must be so proud and so excited to get out there into the world, but don't forget to come back and join the Stony Brook Alumni Association because you're a Seawolf for life. Congratulations again. Class of 2021, congratulations, you did it. All your hard work, all the determinations paid off and you made it. Congrats, I wish you the very best. Know that I am one of many alum who have your back. Good luck. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Ground with newborn dreams. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. This concludes our ceremony. Please rise for our platform party recessional, and thank you. Thank <laughs> you.